The Patriots had a trio of young receivers in 2019 who showed possibilities that down the road they could be valuable weapons for the Patriots. The third and least well-known is Gunnar Oshevsky out of Pemidji State. The 23-year-old was an undrafted free agent by the Patriots in 2019. Primarily used as a punt returner in 2019 before uh, going out to injury after eight games. He had minimal plays on offense, and really most of that was all one game against the New York Giants when the Patriots were pretty shorthanded. It was mostly Jacoby Myers, uh, Julian Edelman, and then Gunner played most of the game for the Patriots. He showed uh, he showed some good things. He had two catches uh, in 2019. Uh, it was mainly the return game where he had uh, 20 returns of 179 yards total, including a long of 22 yards, uh, where he showed the most... Uh, determination and where the Patriots fans really enjoyed watching him play. He's obviously an undrafted free agent, so not making much money in 2020 if he does make the team. That could be one of the reasons why he's obviously uh, a low-risk uh, guy and you know no dead cap money if he gets released, which means it's a little bit harder for him to make the team because there's not as much incentive as other guys that might have you know, a $1 to $2 million uh, signing bonus. The biggest thing for me is uh, Patriot fans, you know, keep looking for the next Julian Edelman. You know, they had Wes Welker, Troy Brown going back a little bit further, and then Edelman, a little bit of Amendola, kind of that stereotypical, usually white, but also just, you know, s- smaller slot receiver. And at six foot, 190 pounds, you think Gunner might be that next guy, but I would just, you know, be careful with that. Edelman, although he had, you know, second and third years that were not very promising, the guy did have 37 catches in his rookie year. So clearly there was a glimpse there that, you know, he could be the guy. And the Patriots clearly did not have a, um, outside of Edelman, a premier second weapon in 2020. Part of that, obviously, is Tom just doesn't trust guys as much, especially, you know, a 23-year-old rookie. You know, he likes them. He respects them. He was comments on Jacoby Myers' Instagram post today, you know, saying wishing him well, all that stuff. But... Uh, it's hard to get into the fold, but if the guy was really good, um, Tom would find a way to give him the ball. With only two catches in 2019, I think it's important for Patriot fans to tap at their expectations. There's a chance, obviously, he could be a, a shadow of Julian Edelman, but Julian Edelman's do not grow on trees. It's the reason the Patriots haven't really found another one in the last 10 years uh, outside of Amendola. So, yes, there's a chance Gunner you know, breaks out in 2020, and does some good things as a fourth or fifth receiver, primarily as a special teamer. But I would just be careful with that. Uh, and with that, let's get to the film of what Gunnar can do on the field. The bulk of Gunnar Oshevsky's offensive snaps came last year, week six, six against the New York Giants. Oshevsky's at the top of the screen here as the outside receiver, which is where he's going to have to make his mark. Uh, with Julie, Julian Edmonds still in the mix playing 90% of the snaps, Oshevsky's going to have to make his mark as a you know a third to fourth outside receiver. It's not going to be in the slot like you would predominantly think of a guy like him, and this is the type of thing that they're going to look to use him in 2020 if he does get on the field, is gadget plays like this. So Shefsky's going to come in motion behind Brady, which I think is a formation you'll see more and more in 2020 with Jared Sidham with more mobility. Shefsky's going to swing out to the left and make a guy miss, and this is what he's going to have to do. Not the best throw by Tom, but it gives Shefsky a chance to reset himself a little bit and make a little play, which is nice. And that's what he's going to have to do. He gets five yards here. He's going to have to fight for every yard. Uh, allows him to get an open space a little bit and make a play for the Patriots. Sometimes the biggest thing about being a receiver is just making them play when the ball comes to you, even if it is that easy. Here it is, fourth quarter, second and eight. Gunner is the outside receiver at the top of the screen. Going to run a little deep in route, uh, very deep. It's at least four seconds before Brady gets the ball off. Giants turn in his zone. Gunner's wide open. Uh, acres of space there, and you should catch the ball. You know, too often the Patriots drop that ball or um, you know run the wrong route, something like that. Sometimes just about catching it and getting positive yards. You know, goes for 29 here. Um, obviously not a anything really special he did, but just make the simple play and make it right. Uh, that's what the Patriots are going to have to do in 2020. Gunner did it here in 2019. Part of the reasons Gunner was such a uh, likable person for Patriots fans in 2019 was his punt return ability before being cut short by injury. Here it is week one against the Steelers. A booming kick uh, by Barry of the Steelers. Gunner doesn't make anything special here, but he gets positive yards, get 20 yards out of it, which is what you want to see. And this is part of it, you know, the fearlessness of he's not going to let the punt coverage team just stop him. He's going to go make a play, find a seam, and go. Um, not exactly sure how this relates uh, in terms of his yak and you know things he can do with the ball in his hands. Not like he's making a ton of moves here, but he certainly exhibited that fearlessness in 2019 with his punt returns. Here he is. He's going to put his head down at the end, 
just roll forward. Nice play by Gunner uh, to get, set the Patriots up with good field position. Gunner had some pretty big returns in 2019. Here's one of his 15 yarders against the Steelers. I like the spatial awareness. The guy, the Gunner at the bottom of the screen, does a pretty good job getting down there. And Gunner shows that fearlessness. If he's going to try and make a play, sometimes they'll stupidly make a play, but he's going to try regardless. So it'll be a better view in the end zone view. But you see him kind of winding the weaves a little bit, uh, finding a way for first down. You don't really see the shiftiness. Uh, that you may want from a punt returner, but he has the exhibit ability to make a play, and he you know, puts his head down and gets positive yards all the time, which is what you want to see. This will have a much better view. The guy on the left-hand side, you can see, uh, nearly gets him, and Gunner has the awareness to move to his right as he catches the ball. Right there. And then it's going to wind and weave his a little bit, make sure the Steelers don't get a clean hit on him for 15 yards there, set the Patriots up for first and ten.